So, uh, so this next ship is going to be from uh, a ship pack we've been playing the last, I don't know, couple months by now. Uh, the Keese ship pack called Type Death by Keese version 77, I think. It's from Mr. Keese. And the last ship we played was the Rust Bucket, which was this NG ship. The next one is the Confidence. Ooh, I like that color. That is a cool, like, kind of midnight royal blue color here. You have to catch it on YouTube later. No problem. You look forward to this next one? Yeah. This looks cool. Uh, the Confidence. So this is the Type E Zoltan Cruiser from Mr. Keese. This ship has everything. Any system you could ever want. Already here. Why does it feel like it's missing something? Uh-oh. Oh, well. Designers did forget something. Must not have been that important. Is it a ship with no power? Uh, okay. No shields. Okay. Oh, it's a shieldless ship. It's a shieldless ship with a Zoltan shield, a proto-pike. Can it cut across entire ships, assuming there's no shield to stop it? This outdated version requires less power, but it takes longer to charge. Defense 3. Oh, that's a good question. Fires faster than the Mark II while targeting the same projectiles. So it's a... It's a, uh... Defense 2 drone. That's better. With, uh, a bigger barrel, it looks like. So this is looking like a, she a ship that might not even be able to buy shields, is my guess. Do we have Gibbs? Fall the rebellion! Oh look at that! It's got a shield with an X through it. Ha 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 ha! Can you see that? Oh, you can only see that when the uh, floor image is hidden. <laughs> oh god. Yep. So, instead of shields, it has drone control. And it has level 1 drone control. Is that on purpose? Because that's going to take... 30, 50, 60, 60 scrap to be able to use this defense drone. I'm going to assume that's on purpose. Now we're going to have to rely on our Zoltan. Uh, so, I think we rely on our Zoltan shield until we get 3 more power into our drone control. Then we rely on our defense 3 plus a Zoltan Shield, plus Cloaking. So this is going to be a Shieldless run, although Zoltan Shield, Shieldless run is a little less, you know, trolly, I guess. Suppose you're meant to get drone control before the early game ends. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Instead of spending your first scrap on shields like other ships, you get your first scrap on Defense 3, is my guess. Not properly equipped. Uh, do we have a hidden drone recovery arm? It didn't say anything about that. That This could be an issue. What's up, Shogi? How are you doing, sir? Are you feeling any better, man? I'm gonna cloak the first volleys, I guess. You, uh, have any recovery from the COVID you, you've been fighting? You are feeling better. That's good to hear. We missed you at the, I uh, the D and D session that me and Shogi are in started back up yesterday, and Shogi was sick, so didn't join us. But we had we had a good time last night. <laughs> Gonna have to not use hack until it's necessary, I guess. Yeah. Hey, we got a free crew. That's nice. The, the low drone parts is weird to me with the drone control, hacking, and drones. I'm going to assume that's intended, though. Well, we aren't going to have a lot of manable systems. The ship doesn't have sensors in backup better either. So uh, let's go ahead and get a silly device. Mr. Keese, uh, this is your favorite ship. Does this ship have a drone recovery arm hidden or no? I'm going to assume no, but I want to ask you before I invest heavily into drone control when I am worried about running out of drone, par drone parts. What a coincidence someone was asking for your group's D&D session too? I'm sure that's common. <laughs> Isn't that just normal D&D stuff? Somebody's got always got to miss. I have a feeling there's not going to be a lot of ships where we can fully take advantage of this prototype. Proto-Pikes, uh... 
extended range. Yeah, my hands are not feeling very good today. So I, uh, you know, I've been playing Elder Scrolls Online as my like offline fun thing to do, and getting a little, as usual, as most MMOs, getting a little tired of some of it. So I started, I loaded up the latest Path of Exile League and played a little bit of that over the last two days. That might be why my hands hurting more. The low drone part is to make the free hacking less good immediately. And Defense 3 is honestly not super needed for most of the run. Okay, all right. We're going to be pretty reliant on Cloaking plus uh, Zoltan Shield, it sounds like. I'm liking Baldur's Gate 3. Well, we didn't play it this last week because Shogi wasn't feeling good, but I've been very much enjoying what I've played so far. I can understand why people love it so much. I think Shogi's especially been enjoying it because it's a very... The way we've been playing it in our group is as a very social thing. We should be good to play this Friday. Nice. Great. like how they integrated dice rolls into uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah. Feels like one of the more faithful adapt adaptations of a Dungeon and Dragons game while still making it a good game, you know. I feel like you could go way too far in the minutia and um storytelling of a Dungeons and Dragons game and not have a very good just game. And I feel like they have a they struck a pretty good balance. Maybe your group is unique because we rarely have surprise absences. You guess you should count yourself lucky, definitely. Ooh, ooh wow, okay. Um, I'll be honest, not a big fan of the 19 second proto pike. Thinking about selling it for the flak, which delays other stuff, but flak dual laser would be a very fast. Very good weapon build. I'm going to do it. Even though I have to upgrade weapons first to do this, I think this is really just too good. I'm going to go flak do a laser here. And hopefully get one or zero fights where I'm in trouble for not having both weapons online. I'm going to hack my engines. Well, it doesn't work when we only have one engine power. do 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 is actually a little scary here. Um, well, the double dodge is effing stupid as their first thing, so there's not a good start here. Drone down, okay. Can my controller ever gets into the room? Please get this weapon down. Good. All right, we should be good now. So much good stuff in that store. <coughs> yeah, early stores are like that. Early stores be like that. Oh, you have no scrap? Here's everything you could ever want. <clears throat> I will say this is going to be one of those runs where I never get dodge upgrades because the goal on a shieldless ship is to make it so that they can't ever even have the opportunity to do damage to you. And if you're disabling all their offense all the time, you're just never going to get training. Damn it. I needed four more scrap from that. We got one above minimum. Jesus. What's up, Ionic Dota? Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 is great. You still like DOS 2 better. I don't know what that is. You'd say they're both 10-10 within their genre. I think the gods is only a one-shield ship. It, well, it's Sector 1. Pretty sure there's only... Well, I guess there are event ships in Sector 1 that can have two shields. It's true. 
Um, yeah, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. I think we can get eight if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Black and Suda dual lasers. Depends on the fight. That is not a good deal right now. Half power. I don't want to spend scrap on power right now. I need to get this weapon upgrade. Divinity Original Sin. The last game Larian made before Baldur's Gate 3. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, we have Clone Bay. Nice. There we go. Now we are good. Now we are in very good shape. Like this beacon mod. Uh, talking about extended pursuit indicator. We've always had that. Are you just now noticing it for the first time? Very useful mod. I highly recommend it. Oh, you mean, uh, you're probably talking about this. This is probably, that's a hyperspace thing, actually. That right there is hyperspace. That's not in my normal vanilla mod. And that's pretty cool, too. It takes some getting used to. I, I kind of forget about it when I'm playing modded FTL now, to be honest. All right, what do we want to do next? Because I'd like to get the defense drone online, but... I don't know if I get to, should get dodge or hacking up instead. The drone will cost ten thirty sixty. Dodges cost ten for the first one. Hyperspace is a mod, but the beacon thing isn't its own specific mod, it's just part of hyperspace, is what he meant. Okay, this right here, turning this on and off, is not a specific mod. This is, you see this little thing up here in the top right? It says HS-1.2.2586536. There is a mod called Hyperspace, which is a mod that gives tools for other mods, specifically Multiverse. So it's more of a feature of the hyperspace mod more than it is its actual mod. So that's not a specific mod you can download. If you download hyperspace, it'll change other stuff. So I don't recommend downloading hyperspace unless you're getting into modded FTL. Um, let's work towards the drone. I feel like the, the, the defense drone is going to be very important soon. And if this defense 3 doesn't shoot down offensive drones... I'm actually going to be a little disappointed about it. And I have a feeling it's not. I have a feeling it's going to do what Defense 2 Drone does. Okay, I was not expecting to shoot that down, but it works out. Quality of life tool. Uh, less quality of life and more of a... I don't know. I Maybe, maybe that's not accurate. I don't know. I don't know what the hyperspace devs would call that. I don't think it enables anything in hyperspace like a lot, in multiverse like a lot of other hyperspace tools do. Alright, so that's gonna give us our pilot for now. We have our floating NG to deal with repairs, I guess. Yeah, I have a feeling we don't get anti-drone, this ship is screwed. That might be the number one thing I need to work on looking for at a store's anti-drone drone. Anti-anti-drone drone, anti-anti. Anti drone, drone, anti we have a human. We do, I'll get you in a second, Grima. Uh, hyperspace does a ton of stuff. It adds a scripting API, makes it possible to add new races, etc. Okay, yeah. I don't need extra crew right now. We've actually gotten two free crew already, Sector 1. It's pretty nice. <sighs> Sorry for all the yawns today, everybody. <laughs> I, uh... 
Apparently, I'm not awake today. Alright, that does allow us to use our defense drone. So. Next, I feel like I need to go for dodge and or anti-drone drone. I'm actually just going to hack the drone right now again. Look at this. Damn it, man. Huh, damn it. This is terrifying. This is actually terrifying. We might die. This is a very challenging ship. Am I cloaking up for the next shot? No. Um, do I even have the... I don't even have the power to use the defense drone, I just realized. Take this and leave. Cloak. Okay. This is a terrifying... That is the worst possible ship we could fight. God damn it. It just jumped. Heavy laser... I think that's a one damage missile and a beam two drone. This is literal worst possible ship for this shieldless starting ship. Um, NG, I guess. Time to take a nap on stream. Yes, just sleeping. That still blow, blows my mind that that's a category on stream, just sleeping. Who, who watches just sleeping streams? Well, a combination of anti-drone and insult and shield completely prevent enemy hacking. Uh, I don't think so. God damn it. Like, every effing ship has offensive drones. I don't want to be using drones every single fight. And he instantly goes triple hit there, man. they just blocked or shot? I don't even know. Has anybody here ever watched a Just Sleeping stream? Like, I've seen people I follow have that as their title, and I'm always like, is that really what they're doing? I'm, I'm not interested enough to check, but interested enough to be curious. I know we're ward. No, you've never watched one? <laughs> I, I, it almost makes me think of uh, the Truman Show, where it's just, you know, people often put Truman on at night because it helps them relax and put them to sleep or something. You click it sometimes, you check then, you're like, what? And it is, it's just, it's a camera on them sleeping? <laughs> is that what it is? All right, what do I need to do? I need power to use my drones. I want engines level two. Just sleeping as a game on EGS. I don't know what EGS is. Okay. Finally a guy without freaking offensive drones. Epic Game Store. Oh, there's a game called that on Epic Game Store? It would be nice to have sensors used as mind control. What, what was the purpose of you not giving this ship sensors? Um, Mr. Case, was there any specific reason you decided to not give the ship sensors? Because you didn't want the player to be able to use mind control? It's kind of weird, but okay. He's got weapon training. Okay. You wanted to give the player a tool that they couldn't use. <laughs> I guess was the reason. All right. Uh, human gets us a mantis. Although maybe I should have got scrap, but it's good. I think my control is just there to take up the system slot. Yeah, you might be right about that. Ah, oh, man, my hand is, my wrist is hurting. I need to not play any games tonight. It is really, really hard for me to avoid playing games because when I'm at home and have nothing else to do there's only so many YouTube videos I can sit there and watch over and over 
And I have, like, nothing else to do when I'm at home. I don't have people to hang out with. I need to find something outside of my house to do for fun. I swear. You buy mind control by buying sensors. Okay. That's the reasoning. Gotcha. Don't make me send you games to play with you. <laughs> Shogi. Uh, I, I did... Uh, I was on... I was watching Twitch last night too between, you know, gaming and watching YouTube videos. And I saw Bike Man playing a game that looked like Rust were seven days to die in a water world setting. And I forget what it was called. But it looked, it kind of, it actually looked kind of interesting because it made me think of Subnautica when I, what I originally thought Subnautica was where I thought it was procedurally generated world. So I'm wondering if it's like a procedurally generated Subnautica, Subnautica type game, which could be really cool. Sunken land. Yeah, I bet you that's it. That sounds right. You are playing that? It looked pretty interesting. Is it fun? Have you been enjoying it? It looks a little simplistic right now. But I think it's one of those like early access survival games that probably is going to need more content. It looked a little simplistic to me, but had potential. What have you been thinking of it, Shogi? Like the crafting looks kind of simplistic to me. Through the access, Richard and you have been playing it. It's fun. Nice. Maybe I'll have to join you guys at some point. It is simple, yeah. That's that's the the vibe I got from watching it. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have a chance at another store. Yeah. Mutant pirates keep attacking you. Yeah, it looked like the uh, enemies were kind of. Not that, at least from what I saw, not that dangerous. But maybe that was just the very early game version, or the very early game enemies and they get stronger or something. Honestly, the mutant pirates kind of reminded me of the enemies in the forest. A little bit of that vibe. They murder you guys pretty efficiently. <laughs> well, maybe you just have crappy weapons or something. Although, again, from what I saw... It, I only saw a crossbow and a spear weapon, but they were also early game in the stream I was watching. These are not feeling like great scrap rewards. Two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, uh, what's my goal? My goal is to get sensors so I can use mind control. It's to get backup battery from a store. It's to get maybe level two hacking if I don't get a store with weapon upgrade. I feel like, um, what was the popular game? Starfield has fallen off pretty quickly. Are a lot of people still streaming and playing Starfield? I know that Ko is, I just see Ko streaming like every day before I get on and I've noticed he hasn't been playing it the last couple days, but I don't know if it's still a lot of people watching and streaming that or not. You just sent me the game. <laughs> All right. Uh, threat unresolved. A free fire beam. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's check it out, chat. Let's check it out. Uh, let's check. Hold on a sec. Because it was given on stream from the amazing Shogi, we got we to gotta thank him on stream. Let me pull up Steam so we can see it. And here we go. We received a gift from Shogi. Sunken land. You generous, generous person. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. We need a stream of Rand humming the entire FTL stra <laughs> soundtrack. Where's your Keith and you are playing it tonight? If I want to join us, I probably will. 
Tonight is Monday. Yeah, I plan on doing a workout, coming home, eating dinner, and then doing nothing. So I'll probably join you tonight. Fire memes. We might have some fire memes. I don't know that this is the ship for fire memes with a Zoltan shield, cloaking, hacking, and no actual shield. Alright, there's backup battery. Definitely not using the Hermes. Anti-drone. Bam. Alright. Alright, anti-drone and defense drone. Drone recovery arm might be the most important augment we can look for at stores now. Chain laser hull beam. Hmm. A little expensive. Well, that'd be cool. I haven't talked to Richard, Richard Keith for a while, so I'd definitely be looking forward to hanging out with you guys and playing some tonight. Pirate or Uncharted? We have. Do we have long range scanners? We do. Nine fuel. I, sh I knew I was forgetting something at the store. I should have bought fuel. Let's go pirate. I should release an album. The album is just me humming the FTL soundtrack every track. Do, 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 quietly. Um, reverse ion distraction buoys, hacking stun. Sensors! There we go. We can use our mind control offensively. Beautiful. I don't want to go into an asteroid field, though. Okay, let's do what I forgot to do, and that is buy fuel. Who would buy the album of me just humming FTL soundtrack? soundtrack? Anybody? Just you, taters. Just you, probably. Free human. You know what? I forgot. We have a Grima. Raise his hand. <laughs> Just you. <laughs> I love how everyone refers to him as Richard Keith, calling him by his first and last name. It's like his royal title. One cannot be without the other. Well, I, I call him Richard. I just call him Richard Keith because you call him RK. And you always do it, so. <laughs> Taters looks around. Nobody else would buy it. <laughs> I would. All right. Only you. Only you would buy this album. Of me singing oh, only you you are my biggest fan all right sorry i kind of went out out of out of correct key there have we played a fuelless start ship before no and i'm not quite sure how that would work except just to be annoying i don't it doesn't sound like a cool design or fun ship to play Freaky Fred would buy it too. All right, there you go. It's not just you. It's not just you, Taters. Nice. <laughs> I'm not releasing it. No plans. But who knows? Maybe if I'm really bored someday, I'll go into my audio auto audio editing software, pull up the YouTube Ben Prunty soundtrack, and just start. Honestly, if I worked on something like that, I would put way more effort into it than that. There are dozens, uh, or at least two of us. <laughs> yeah, a weird ASMR thing to do. <laughs> We might be able to crew kill this. Pop, pop. Blow up the Zoltan. One thing I did think about doing at some point, and then I just never followed through because I realized how much crazy amount of work it would be, was try to do a sort of... Damn it. Um, smooth McGroove type uh, you know version of FTL soundtrack the, the thing is that, that, that 
projects like that are super cool and they're so much work because that's like probably two hours of recording and like 20 hours of audio editing to put together those little, you know, two minute videos that Smooth McGroove does. It's just every time I think, man, this would be awesome. And then I try to do something or think about it and I'm like, oh my God, the amount of video slash audio editing work that would be, it just, it's so daunting. Um, what is my next goal here? I have all my systems. A weapon upgrade and mm, actually hacking and power first. And we have the option to use defense drone now. What's up, Sheeta? How are you doing? So I guess it's basically my laziness strikes again. Uh, okay. Let's trust in the defense drone. Wow, it barely hit before... Before the ion got to the shield barrier line. Alright, we gotta wait for the cloak. Weapons and system upgrades and pretty much nothing else, yeah. Dodge is really good on this. What I will say is... Zoltan Shield is really synergistic with high dodge because the longer you're not getting hit, the longer your Zoltan Shield stays up. So I'll definitely be investing in engines this run, that's for sure. Okay, 31 scrap is nice. Some kind of land looks good and has good reviews so far. Oh, uh, just look it up. Yeah, it looks pretty fun. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I go through one nebula, I can get seven. I don't think I can get eight if I go through two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think the X would be a dive at eight, but we can get seven here. Skip the pulsar. Um, I'm gonna cloak the first volley. See if I need to use any drone parts. Well, damn it! I was for some reason thinking both those fire at the same time. I don't know why I thought that would happen. Clone bay, NG repairing. This is probably not a crew kill again. All the buildings are underwater to explore. It's pretty cool. Yeah, what I saw, again, was pretty simplistic, but it was also super duper early game, so... I'm hoping there's more variety to the exploration than what I saw last night. Uh, any non taken crew member names? A lot. We only have one named human, so... NG, Mantis, Zoltan are all available. Just let me know what you'd like to be. Alright, 63 scrap quest. I think this is an escort quest. You wanna be the mantis contestool? You got it. Oh, well, that means I shouldn't have bought the anti drone. But you know what? It might be worth having double anti drone phase 2 of the boss. I don't even know. This is gonna be another thing where I think I might need level 3 cloaking and stealth weapons with fast firing weapons to have any chance against the boss. Right, let's see here. We got some requests coming in here. So, Contasul Mantis. Uh, Mower wants to be Sensor Man. Okay. Mower. Unexpected wants to be Zoltan. Like you, the weapon Zoltan. And Drinking Deuterium, you want to be Engine Zoltan. Nice. Drinking deuterium. Uh, let's call him deuterium. Deuterium. All right. Welcome aboard. Please try not to die. 
perli di di bum bum dil 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 di. Oh gosh, I can't remember this. I think this is the one that kills me. Um, FTL dock with the station and investigate. Yeah, this is the this is the higher level med bay one. Damn. Yeah, that was the no, that was not the quest beacon. Oh gosh, asteroid field. Damn. Um, I don't have to decide if I want to go through there or not with <laughs> no actual shields. Will I trust Defense 3 to protect me in there is really the question. Beep boop beep boop. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Cloak it. Beautiful, firing the weapons. The Defense 3 is good at asteroids most of the time. Okay. Well, I guess we'll find out if I go there if most of the time includes the first time I go to a, an asteroid field fight this run. Well, at least our weapons have upgraded quickly. Alright, half power. I have backup battery. Let's get the uneven power numbers, and I'll probably upgrade my weapons next. Isn't the defense drone blind spot pretty bad on Zelda's ships? Family search, beautiful. Um, actually, on this ship, yes. Weapons are in the worst possible place for defense drone blind spot. I don't know if you thought about that, Mr. Keys, but that is that is a considerable consideration. But the defense drone blind spot is about as... The weapons are in the worst possible place it can be for defense drone protecting it. You want defense drone as far to the back... Or you want important systems as far back in the ship as possible. But... This guy doesn't have offensive drones. And he doesn't have any shields himself, so... We'll be shieldless together. Yeah, like right there. Didn't even shoot that asteroid before it would have hit weapons, probably. Version 78 hype. No, you don't have to. It's you don't you don't have to change a ship just because I say that. It's a consideration. It's not a bug. It's a feature. <laughs> it's a feature of defense drones. They suck at shooting projectiles before they would hit the front of the ship. It's why defense drone on Mantis B is so bad, because weapons and shields are both at the front, both at the front of the ship. Which is the most likely place for defense drone to fail to shoot projectiles down. I do agree with that suggestion. It's, it's, it's something to consider and something that... Um, some modders might not be used to take into account when designing a ship. How good does defense drone work against... Uh, with the ship layout, basically. I mean, if you just put, like, drones here and weapons there, I feel like it would be a much less dangerous situation or likelihood for defense drone to fail. <gasps> Still have a drone coming out. Oh, my God. I can't stop yawning. Uh, okay, let's go one weapon value. We can now go fl cloak fire beam if we want. Speaking of bugs, you've been getting a ton of entertainment lately from watching Starfield clips. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Is that the big thing with Starfield? It's uh, the normal Bethesda bugs? It's pretty funny. Do, 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 do. So if I do this, that does not pull the pilot yet. Okay. This should pull the pilot. Perfect. It's classic Bethesda. Classic Bethesda. This is about optimal dodge training, and we've only had four dodges since putting Grima on piloting. Or whoever's our pilot. Is that Grima? 
his Rima. It's not a bug, it's an unexpected feature. That's right. Have I seen Sea of Stars? It's got great reviews. You've watched people playing it and totally get Chrono Trigger vibes? I have. I saw um, Cobalt Streak play it. And it does look pretty cool. Um, my worry is that I'm pretty sure... I, I don't want to dwell on this too much. I'm pretty sure it's in Unity. And with all the Unity stuff going on, I'm a little worried about it getting pulled or lacking support once... However, this Unity this, uh, development develops. So that's, I'm a little worried about that. But maybe maybe I shouldn't take that into consideration. But um, all right. It might not matter. And all this stuff might just blow over. I don't know. But... And that's just kind of an excuse, because, you know, it looks like a great game, and I should definitely play it if it's as good as everybody's talking about it being. Wow, I cannot vent this room very quickly at all, can I? Uh, I just realized how suboptimal the venting. Okay, it's not the worst, but... Okay, I need hacking to get there. Use this guy's now a beam master. Okay, all right. What the frick was that? Okay, good dodge at least. I can't believe that... That shot. He shot way past where he should go. Where he was going. Jeez, us. Goddamn auto assault with multiple offensive drones. F U F T L. This anti-drone is failing like crazy. I right, just hack them. Kill those drones, man. Mini beam plus double offensive drones against our ship that is not allowed to buy shields. Go F yourself, FTL. Okay, we only took a little bit of damage there. Could have been worse. A map. Rackagack, thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Appreciate it. How's it going? It's going well. We're playing a ship designed to never be able to buy shields. Um, but has a defense 3 drone, which is an upgraded defense 2 drone. So, uh, What is our main goal right now? This, is, this does make for interesting upgrade decisions. Should I upgrade cloaking higher level without stealth weapons? I waste two jumps to check the store, but stealth weapons I feel like is very important, so I do have two other drones to sell. Sea of Stars is made with Unity. Yeah, I, 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 all these like YouTube videos I've been watching have talked about that. Drone recovery arm. Perfect. I can turn on my defense three every time now. If I get stealth weapons, I'm going to have to sell one of my other augments, though, which is not ideal. Hook 2 is good with a 10 second weapon charge, you think? Um, that is not a nebula. Oh, what do I want to upgrade? If I can instantly turn the defense 3 on, back up better to some other things. I feel like I want a weapon upgrade, like fire, uh, uh, heavy laser or something. Uh, another offensive drone ship. Jesus, with three shields and running away, go after yourself, FTL. I've been saying that a lot today. I guess I really feel strongly about this. I need to mind control the, the guy going to the shields. Will that pull the pilot? That'll pull the pilot. That works. Okay. All right, the anti-drone drone is doing good work so far. And we pulled the pilot, so he shouldn't be able to run. Nice. All right, so this is fine. This is fine. 
I was a little worried because, you know, frickin' Rebel Disruptors and Rebel Riggers are like all we're fighting in auto assault ships with offensive drones on our shieldless ship. But at least our build is able to handle it. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, something like that. Three nebula jumps should get me nine. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine should work. Yes. I was greed for this door. Didn't even get to the Zoltan Shield. Yeah, well, that's because we are doing everything in our power to stop their offense. Well, not everything. I'm not spending a hacking drone every fight because that just feels too expensive. Everything in my power apart from spending a hacking drone on their weapons every fight. And actually, I forgot to turn on the Defense 3 drone here. Alright, we got a dodge. That's nice. Ooh, we... I think crew kill this. No surrender. That is a crew kill. Beautiful. All right. You're here to spend up all of the good RNG and chew bubble gum. You're all out of... Um, I'm going to change your message to say you're all out of spending up all the good RNG. So enjoy your bubble gum. Because uh, you definitely didn't use up all the RNG. I'm, I'm, ta I'm taking it. I, I have some. I, I really have some. All right, um, be hero. Put on the glasses. No, no. Wait, I have my glasses on, and I totally read that correctly. Hoping for some dodges. Well, that was a fail. It's gonna hit my backup battery. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Definitely another crew kill. Uh, except the heat. Hit the wrong thing. It's not a bad deal, to be honest, but no. That's a better deal. Holy, with free repairs and, uh, yeah. Double reward. Nice. Epic fight in the alley for 10 minutes ensues. Uh, okay. Another. <laughs> Holy. How many double offensive drones have I fought on this run with no shields? I'm sure, I think it's at least four or five so far. This is insane. Non-stop auto assault ships. All right, I have to hack this drone control here. This is, this is dumb. This is dumb. Classic FTL. What's the hard counter? Okay, every ship is this now. I'm gonna swap to this and then the drone's gonna instantly come back up. I freaking knew it. Oh my god, now he's just swapping his drone. Jesus. You game. Ah, the power changed. He instantly swaps to another one after he aims at the other one. God damn it, give me a break from this BS. <clears throat> yeah, his drones are down. Alright, it's fine. We got a free repair just a bit ago. and We get to tr recover our drones. I don't get to recover the hacking drone, but... Have I seen they live? Um... Is that a game that some people are streaming on Twitch? I saw some game that some people watching that looked like it was a TV show with people looked like a like an episodic TV show with like people who were zombies or something. Is that is that? I don't know. I don't know if I have. Uh jeez, whole beam charge laser. 
I think I'm gonna get hull beams and get this so I have the choice between hull beam and fire beam. It's a John Carpenter movie starting starring Rowdy Roddy Piper. Uh sci-fi horror film written directed by John Carpenter. Starring Roddy Piper. Is he like a is he a wrestler? No, I've definitely never seen that. I don't think I've ever never heard of that. Why? <laughs> Did you just, like, start watching it or something? That's where the quote... Oh, your quote came from that. Okay, well, that's definitely not a reference I was ever going to get. You saw, saw it when you were 14 years old. Okay. Holy double eye on Glade Beam. This is a terrifying fight. Okay. Uh, this is actually terrifying because... This beam will hurt so bad. We need to buy ourselves time here. Okay, we're through. Let me hack shield two weapons here. Ah, oh, thank God. Glaive beam down on our against our shieldless ship. Jesus. Roddy Roddy Piper is a wrestling legend. Piper's Pit. That movie was horrible, though. <laughs> it's a cult classic. Well, I've never heard of it. Uh, the only movie I ever saw with a wrestler, not counting, like, The Rock, I guess, is probably... What's the one where Hulk Hogan plays a nanny? Is there, like, a Mr. Nanny or something? I feel like I saw that once years and years and years ago. Yes, the original reference, I'm here to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all about, all, all out of bubble gum, is a Duke Nukem reference, as far as I know, unless there's some other thing that Duke Nukem stole it from. But I heard that when I was a kid in high school playing Duke Nukem. And that's like the first line of the game as you log in, as you start the game up. Yeah, I don't think... I, I think the original is not from that movie. But, I don't know, maybe that movie is where... Duke Nukem stole it from, maybe. I don't know. So what year did Duke Nukem come out compared to that movie? Duke Nukem was referencing this movie. Oh, okay, well... Okay, then. Well, that's more cl cl classic than I thought if it was being quoted by Duke Nukem. Okay, we have three shields. Poking is not down. They live was before Duke. Okay. Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem steals from no man. Oh man. All right, I got a hack, and I think I'm too late. My cloaking's up. Okay. Cloaking up just in time. Whew. Thank God for cloaking hacking cycle on this ship. It might not be your intention on this ship, uh, Mr. Keys, but I feel like what this ship forces the player to do is rely on the cloaking hacking weapon hack cycle that some people find really boring or cheesy. But I think this ship is going to be relying on that. <clears throat> Movie for, was from 88. When was Duke Nukem? Duke Nukem was like mid to late 90s, wasn't it? So yeah, that definitely, that, that, that vibes. That vibes. or jives, or some other hip term that I'm trying to use that I probably shouldn't try to use since I am not hip. Running away with cloaking. God damn it, game. Could you give me a break from running away bullshit and auto assault ships and all the other crap? All of the other crap. Okay, good. Good. Do people find that stuff boring? You're from... You're all for most optimal plays normally? Um... 
yes, a lot of people, at least judging by YouTube comments I've received and various Twitch messages will say something like, Rand, you always go cloaking and hacking. Why don't you ever do something different like mind control plus drone control or use the artillery more? You know, people always rec say, why don't you do X? Talking about using other systems. And in Harmo No Pause, the answer is because it's not optimal. So. No, this is a... Sh why don't you do more shieldless runs? This is a shieldless run. This ship is designed to have no space for shields. And I understand it, although people will sometimes say something like, um, man, whenever you use cloaking, cloaking plus hacking all the time, it makes all your runs the same. There's no, there's no, you know, strategy or, uh, variation in runs, but I think that's just Trollo lolling or ignoring all of the other decisions you make during a run. I know, use the artillery, how cute. <laughs> or you should buy a glaive beam. What a what a what a great suggestion from this new player. <laughs> hoking and clacking. Those are the best systems. Hoking and clacking. Armino Pop Streaks definitely have to be played optimally 90% of the time, or FTL rears ugly head and punches you in the most optimal way it can back, yeah. Is chair blocking a hull repair? No, it's blocking an anti-drone drone. We have defense three and anti-drone drone. Yeah, I guess my chair is blocking what drones we have. Sorry about that, but I'm not moving it. Not doing it. Not going to move it. Um, I think I prefer Mantis over Rebel because these Rebel double auto assault. Double offensive drone auto assault ships are the worst. Pulsar and Asteroids, no thanks. Alright, let's go Hack 3, Cloak 2, Dodge Power. Rand's country hole, he'll not move. Well, I'd have to go all the way over to my second computer over there. One of these days, I'm going to have one of those setups where these people have, like, a monitor here, a monitor here, computer there, computer there... And like all their, I don't know how they fit all their computers underneath their desk. Those people have like 12 monitors here. I don't know how they do that. Damn it. Double rigor. I came here to not fight bullshit ships like this. I oh, just hack the weapons, man. I don't want to hack the weapons, but I have to. I don't want to do the same strategy every time, but FTL has the same BSOP build every time, so. Just play on Apple Vision Pro TM. All right, sure, I'll just spend however many thousands of dollars it costs to get one of those. And then not know how to use it because I can't stand Apple products and their OSs that I don't understand. TM reserved. Five easy payments of thirty-five ninety-nine. Ninety-nine. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've seen a lot of the um, videos about talking about the whole Unity debacle. Have like some conspiracy the theories or conjectures about companies buying out or trying to force Apple into saving them or. There's all these CEOs from other companies who are on the board of Unity and they're selling all their stock shares and all this stuff. There's like all these crazy discussions about what's actually going on behind the scenes and like they knew it was a bad idea, but they're doing it on purpose to try to tank the company or cause another buyout. So many crazy theories out there. You know, if it's that complex, the CEO finally decided to cash out. It might not be, but I also know nothing about corporate America and all that stuff. So I find it interesting to watch these things. I have no idea if people are just blowing smoke, but I find it very interesting to watch the videos where people talk about all this, all the stuff that, um, um, went on before all this. Cause apparently there was a merger with unity and some other, 
company called something. And then somebody else tried to buy them out for 20 billion that they turned down. And they're like, they turned it down on purpose. And now they're trying to use this as a way to take out this company, try to buy them out. It's like all this weird corporate America BS that I have no idea how it all works. Depends on your desk. You had to get a monitor arm mount to make dual monitors work because your desk has super shell, has upper shelves and a recessed monitor area. Well, yeah, I think if I ever wanted to do like, you know, extra monitors like up here, because like I have one over there. I have my one monitor with a second PC on my old desk over there. I have right here to my left a uh, laptop where I watch chat. And over here I have another one where I follow Streamlabs events and then my main, main screen. If I had main screen, if I had like was against the wall, I could wall mount some of these extra monitors I use as my people slowly suffocate. Did we get a drone carving arm? We did. We did. Which I am now using my defense drone more often because of that. That happens super often with companies. The CEO ruins the company and runs off with the riches. God. I can definitely see why people who live not in America say stuff like capitalism is terrible. Because situations like this are just, oh my god. These are the people who run our companies, are the richest people in the world. These douchebags who will do just completely screw over companies, consumers, and their workers like this. I mean, anything for the almighty dollar, I guess. It's so insane to me. But that's very political, so I sh probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> uh, people in the state say that also. True, true. Not just people outside the states, that's true. But I don't want to get into it because I'm sure there'll be people who disagree and it'll start some big internet bashing of something that will piss off somebody and, I, and there's no reason to go into that. Um, I guess finding a store for stealth weapons would be good. You respect the avoidance of politics. There's plenty of it on the internet. I mean, I'm talking about it because I watch YouTube videos about it. I say I don't like politics, and then I watch videos about unity that talks about politics and, you know, big business interactions and stuff. So I guess I am interested in it, just not really talking about the political side of it in chat because I don't want to alienate people. Yeah, these dodges, though. Hoping for some dodge training. No. No. But Firebomb does nothing to our shield, so that's good. Uh, we can do this. Maybe crew kill? Well, that was weird. The NG looked the other way. Okay, no crew kill. They're not fighting. Yeah, we're in a chill zone. No politics, religion, or hot button topics discussed here. Even though I keep bringing up... I mean... Is Unity a hot button topic to people? I mean, it's video game stuff, so I feel like we could be pretty low key talking about that, right? I mean, it's like when we talk about Star Wars, right? It's divisive, but it's, I feel like it's not something that people get so worked up about that people would say, oh, I'm never coming here again, or oh, I hate your opinion and you should go to hell because you think X, you know? Oh, damn, didn't get any weapons offline. Uh, Star Wars can be something that is more hot topic than some politi politics. I guess it depends on the person, but yeah, you're probably right. Some people probably feel very strongly about... <laughs> no. Flash Jedi being the best Star Wars movie. I don't know, but we're not going to get into it as I say that. Well, I don't let the burst laser fire get... We definitely skipped Fed E, by the way. You don't know what order we're going in now. Oh, you know what? I probably... Next time we play your mod, Mr. Keese, remind me to do the unlock first because I have a feeling 
my whole swapping between hyperspace and non-hyperspace causes some weird issues with things don't stay unlocked on my hyperspace save, and I don't know why. It probably has something to do with the hyperspace switcher mod that I use that MathChamp created. I can't go there and hit the exit, so let's go to the store. If we want to talk politics, talk about intergalactic civil war and how the rebels are actually the good guys. There you go. The rebels did nothing wrong. That's that's the hot button issue. Okay, I will buy a whole repair, though. That is huge. Um, that is free repair with the dr uh, drone recovery arm. One and two, and then we'll swap back to anti-drone drone after this. Gamergate, man. That's right. Gamergate. Okay, and that is, oh uh, god, that is a halberd beam that is not down yet. Might need to hack that. It doesn't have cloaking at least. Come on. Nice! We got it off lighting right as it was about to hit us. Perfect. Now we have our defense three versus. Ha <laughs> uh, You stupid piece of crap. Defense three? Not even that much better than defense two. You just watch that shot come right through. It's not a Carl, it's a Steve. Alright, we got a free repair after it. Oh my god. This is why designing a ship built around no shields on a defense drone is doomed to failure. You need to do more than just make it slightly faster than defense do if you want a defense drone that is good. You need to look at the... I talk a lot of crap about multiverse drones, about multiverse. There are some multiverse drones that can do it. There's also some SMPK insurrection drones that can actually have some defense. You need to you need to crank the speed of those firing way up, not just I don't know, 700 milliseconds compared to 500 milliseconds or whatever it is. I don't I don't know the stats on it, but I would look at the SMPK insurrection and multiverse drones if you want to actually have a ship where defense drone is not worthless. Cause, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I might keep that beam drone for phase three of the boss fight. We'll see. Chip is always committing multiple war crimes and you keep getting away with it. It's true. We are the bad guys. I don't, I don't disagree. We are absolutely the bad, bad guys. Okay, this guy's weapon system. I am going to hack the weapons. I do not trust this. Do not trust it. Double burst later too, and I. Damn it. Ah, uh, freaking hull beam! You're just a little too stupidly slow, man. A little too stupidly slow. I might need to swap over to fire beam for some crew kill action here, even though there's a rock over there. Let's swap over. See what we can do. These frickin' dodges, man. Give me a break. Okay, we got two fires and weapons. That's good. Uh, God, I don't even have enough power to do my full hack here. My control here. Everybody fight in there, please. Okay. I need my control and shield room because Rock Eye won't die in fire. I'm gonna go for the crew kill here. If you could add logic to drones or target priority, huh? Yeah, there we go. I want 
want them to fight the rock dude. That's what I want to see. Wow, fire beam. Look at that zero fires in four slots or whatever. Uh, I think I hit all both O2 and both slots there, and that was a really terrible fire beam swipe. Am I going to wait for the O2 thing here? Does this do crew damage? It does not. Ooh. Switch anti-drone back for what? Oh, yes, I do need it. You're from the whole repair. Yes, I do need to do that. Um, let's see. Instead of defense drones targeting the first come, first serve, they target off damage potential or something. Yeah, I mean, it'd be great, but that'd be a big change that they'd have to make. I don't know how that would be done. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what you're referencing, Plunder Pig. I don't know what this... This whole... You, somebody has the floor. Is that, is that a political reference? I don't know. All right, we got the crew kill. Destroy and salvage it. Beautiful. Double reward worth... Um, we're doing this. Pole beam. It was me admitting to committing war crimes. Okay. Well, that's a forced asteroid or solar flare with borders. That will have... Um... Let's go to the asteroid field. I'm going to have to use a double drone here. Defense plus hacking on. If they have offensive drones, we hack those. Okay, it's weapons, so we hack the weapons. Actually, eh, yeah. I was going to think about not even using a drone part, but yeah, we will. Super safe, because the asteroids are going to get the resultant shields, because this defense drone is never going to shoot before they actually hit us. You can tell I don't have much tr uh, trust in these defense drones. I mean, look at this guy. I don't think he's shot a single asteroid before it hit our Zoltan shield yet. It's just, they have to be so fast because the... The edge of the screen is too close to the shields. In the way FTL is designed for defense drones to not suck. Not a single asteroid was shot by this. Look at that, man. That's so shitty. So shitty. Defense drones are terrible. Mike Copley says drones already prioritize missiles. Do they? Really? Even Defense 2 drone does? You're mixing the Python Spanish Inquisition sketch and they punish people with the comfy chair. Okay. Defense drone do a poor job protecting the Zoltan shield, yeah. Uh, this is the fight, that one, yeah. This is, people ask why I don't get drone control more often. I feel like this fight is, this, this run is a perfect ex example of why you should just get hacking, cloaking, and mind control. Drones suck. That's all there is to it. Drones are best as defense, and the thing they're best at, they're crappy at still. They just, they're not consistent at. I actually need to hack his weapons. This halberd beam is going to do way too much damage otherwise. The thing that drones are best at, they're still bad at. Or at least not as good as other things. Protecting you from asteroids, hitting your Zeldon shield, protecting you from missiles getting past, like all this stuff. Just cloaking does it better. So, that's why I don't get drone control. Oh, uh, I would like better, faster weapons that are not a whole beam if I can't find that at the store. So, if a missile and laser are coming at, in at the same time, defense drones actually prioritize missiles? I guess the problem with that is the speed of projectiles is a big deal. 
If they fire at the same time, the laser gets there first. So it'll try to shoot the laser, fail, the laser hits the shield anyway, then missile gets by. I feel like that's what I see almost every time you have a defense true drone. Speed of projectiles is just means that defense drones just suck. <laughs> just they don't do their job well. Lazy ass defense drones is what I'm saying. Alright, we'll have 99% dodge on this black shot here. Which will probably kill our drone. Okay, it didn't at least. You can fix it with micro. Yeah, which sounds like something you could do with, with pausing to, to minimize that. Which sounds like you'd have to depower the drone when the laser comes in range, then repower. God, that sounds like a nightmare to micro. Can't recall. Do I think Zoltan Shield is the best augment in the game generally? Probably niche cases where pre-igniter is better, but you feel like being able to shield let's really do this is pretty wild. Uh, do I think Zoltan Shield is the best augment, period? Honestly, I feel like you're devaluing long-range scanners because it is allowing us to skip asteroid fields, solar flares, and pulsars for the shieldless run. So I, I think there might be an argument that long-range scanners are even better than Zoltan Shield. However, they're both really good at certain things. You can do that no pause fairly easily, though of course you might be busy with other things, yeah. Alright, heavy laser one. Um, but yeah, Zoltan Shield's probably better than long range scanners. But it's also rarer, and so if you're going to consider opportunity cost or likelihood to find it in your consideration of how good something is, Sell the fire beam, sorry, chap. And I feel like there's an argument that long range scanners is better in that respect. Because you're more likely to be able to find it and use it in a run than Zoltan Shield. But I would say in a vacuum, yes, Zoltan Shield's a better augment than long range scanners. It protects you from more things. Ship getting full? It is. Thinking about whether I sell this beam drone or not. Um. Uh, so kill the ship fight at the next thing. I'm just going to ignore them. I don't even want the solar flare fight with our shieldless ship. In a vacuum, the best augment is respirator. Zing! <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. I can't argue with that. Flawless logic. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. And I, I approve I approve of that myself because I would not call that a pun. Well played, sir. Uh, time to vent some humans in a vacuum. That's a better swipe right there, too. If the shield stayed on long enough, nice. You are technically correct. The best and funniest type of correct. Well done. There is also an argument for pre-igniter being the best augment, so mm, I have too many good augments right now. And I don't know which ones to keep. 18 drone parts, so I sell drone recovery arm and start using defense three a little less. What sector are we in? Six? Five? Six? Long range scanner is useless. Did you not hear that thing about where a shieldless ship going to solar flares and asteroid fields thing? I don't think long range scanners are useless. <sighs> However, it might be worth selling them. They're not useless though. You did not hear that. Okay, well I just said it or like a fourth time. So there, I said it. Uh, still, I'm gonna do it though. Uh, honestly, I don't. I don't want to do it, but I think that's the right play. Because one thing Pregnator does do is lets us end those fights quicker. So if we do end up going to them because we don't see them, them being Solar Flare, Polestar, Asteroid Field, we can at least end the fight quicker with it. With a Preigniter. 
Sell the beam drone. I feel like getting through the bosses. Zoltan Shield Phase 3 is going to be very important as quickly as possible. So I think I am going to hold on to that solely for that reason. For now, we can get a free repair. Put our man pants on and sell Zoltan Shield. Our man pants. Oh, put our man pants on and sell the Zoltan Shield. Oh, woo, yikes. Freakniter is one of the best things to have on shieldless runs. Yeah. When you do shieldless, when you did your, speaking of shieldless runs, I had somebody on YouTube ask about this, but and I, and I told them they should look up your shieldless runs, Mike Copley. Did you allow Zoltan Shield on your shieldless runs or not? Because I did a shieldless run at one point, and I think I used Zoltan Shield. Do you, like, artificially not allow that? You do allow Zoltan Shield. Okay, cool. It's curious. Nice. For how, how far ahead I have in hole repair, I don't need long range scanners. True. True. I want them, but you're right that I don't need them in... Pre-igniter, I think, is better to have than the long-range scanners. It was hyperbole. What? You? Hyperbole? Get out of here! Get out of here! No, really, get out! No, no. I say using hyperbole to answer your hyperbole. What's up, uh, Six Pack Shakur? Six Pack Shakur, what a name. Trying to figure out why you feel we have an abundance of scrap, but it kind of makes sense since we have, don't have to spend a lot of scrap on shields. Yes. Because I have spent not 125 to buy shields or 150 to get to level 3 plus power. And yeah, and uh, low level drone control is actually a lot cheaper than upgrading low level shields. Nice. Well, we're also overflowing with free crew this run, apparently. Gotta have our manly pants on, that's right. How are my hands? They're. They've been a little achy today, Grima. A little achy today. Thanks for asking, though. Um, I don't have long-range scanners. Zone Shield Bypass, I have Mind Control. Uh, these are both not great choices. I guess I'll go Zoltan here. So it's more so a shield less, shield system less run. That seems to be the standard interpretation. Can't call it a shield, though. Zoltan Protective Bubble. Okay. Protective Bubble. It's not a shield. It's a protective bubble. Let's get some value points to deal with the boarding police. Border police. Boarding border police. Level 2 sensor since I don't have the long-range scanner blue option anymore. <laughs> Ships that normally have shields, you broke them to be level 1, meaning you did not have the extra system slot. Zoltan quest with Zoltan shield and full crew the value. Yeah. You're praying for swag sensors. Oh my god. Swag sensors. It's the these sensors. Ah, uh, freaking cloaking. Okay. Kind of wish I had a slug so I could mind control in these nebula sectors or nebula jumps. Um, I'll cloak this. I feel like defense drones in FTL would be better if there was a longer distance between the edge of the screen where the shots appear and the shield bar. And I wonder if they ever considered that. Or if they just thought, eh. Defense drone will suck and that's fine. Because that is the biggest weakness of defense drones is that they don't have enough time to fire. In my opinion, that's the biggest weakness of defense drones in at vanilla FTL is if they could fire from a further distance or fire faster, they wouldn't fail so often. Is the distance they shot appear something that can be modded? 
I don't think so. The speed at which the shot can be can be fired is can be modded, but I'm about 80% sure that you can't. It's not moddable to change when the shot appears on the screen. I'm pretty sure the shot appears from up here, 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 and then like halfway behind the enemy ship or something like that. You can kind of visually see it a bit. Probably when they realized the problem was too late to fix without a ton of rewriting. Probably what it was. Oh god, I took damage. I didn't realize he was already through and me shooting his weapons with every shot didn't kill his weapons somehow. Say the blind spot is their biggest weakness. Which the blind spot is because of distance traveled and all that stuff, right? Well, that has to do with layout too, I guess. Just realize you don't normally ping you, Rand. Some streamers don't like that. How do you feel about that? I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means to ping. Um... Weapon value, I guess. In the chat when you tag me. Some people dislike that in their chat. Oh, no, I don't, I don't dislike it. Um, I think it can be overused. I prefer people use that when they're typing a message that is specifically for the person they're adding. Some people do that just because they want, hey, streamer, attention, look at me. Um, but if it's a question for me, I mean, that's, that's, I'm perfectly fine with it. Uh, this. <laughs> Stun bomb. Best use. Against a ship that has no shields and has a Zoltan shield when you get down quickly. I wanted to make sure I was okay with that. Fair enough. Just want to make sure. That's fine. Hey streamer, I want attention. Look at me. Yes, that's, that's the annoying use of it. Not that we have a lot on this stream. I mean... It's a bigger deal when you have, you know, thousands of people all typing in chat at the same time. <laughs> um, hmm, let's see, how do we want to do this? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, so I won't see these jumps. I've already seen that's not a store. I could backtrack for that if it's a store. Okay. Is my storage full? I'm not sure. Maybe. Yes. Yes, it is. All right. Um, I do need to sell stuff at a store quite badly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I would backtrack for a store over here, although that might mean a dive, which could be bad. I feel like this run is also pretty good. Uh, showing of why beams on no pause are not ideal, because I have been having to pause for most of my beam aiming to get the most out of the whole beam targeting and all that. Mantis Fighter looks so silly with four guns, huh? Alright, good. Store to sell some drone parts or whatever we have all in our cargo. Man, I could sell something at long range scanners. Oh, stealth weapons, though. Oh, I, I do need stealth weapons. Actually, actually, I'm going to sell drone recovery arm for stealth weapons. Weapon pre-igniter, Zoltan shield, stealth weapons, level 3 cloak. That is our way to not die on the shieldless run, so let's do it. This has saved us a lot of drone parts over the run, so we'll say it was totally worth. We now get the level 3 cloak. Get some power. And now we can level 3 cloak, defense 3 drone, anti-drone eventually, probably reddit engines. We got hack and cloak and Zoltan shield, good engines. What's the worst that could happen in a dive, kappa, lol, kappa? 
Gosh, I don't know. Actually, I don't want to just turn on my defense drone because uh, I just sold my uh, recovery arms, so. Yeah, that was really good dodges by him. It's going to be such a sick build, not going to lie, super unique. Definitely unique. Since, you know, we're forced to have no shields. <laughs> It is due due to the modded ship, yeah. But it does. That's part of the reason why I like uh, viewership Mondays, because I I would never choose to do a build like this. We could do everything about this build except the special defense three drone, right? We could choose on a Zoltan. Which ship? Which Zoltan ship starts with no shields? Eh, actually, all all the Zoltan ships start with shield. Just one of them starts with level one. So I guess we couldn't have this exact build. Okay, well now I wish I hadn't bought the whole repair drone. Do I stream card games? Uh, I have in the past. It's not something I do normally, though. Like, I've played... Uh, the one I played the most... I think the card game I played the most is either Monster Train or Storybook Brawl would be the two I played the most, probably. And I think I played a lot more Monster Train, if you if that's what you're talking... If you're talking about competitive card games, not very often. And Storybook Brawl was definitely the most in that vein. Uh, Monster Train was the most I played a single player card game. Although I played a decent amount of. Oh, the other popular one. Slay the Spire as well. Both great games. Z S W P I S W. I don't know what that is. Is that is that shortenings of the augments that we're using? Wow, these freaking dodges though. Uh, Mondays are sweet. Also, you don't know if it was intended. But doing it on Mondays, which normally aren't fun, is a great day to do the fun day. <laughs> it's more, I wanted to start my week of FTL off. I, I don't know if I had a, if this was the reasoning when I first did it, but this is kind of what it's become for me is it's a nice way to start off the week, especially when I'm playing nothing but FTL, ease my way into the FTL shenanigans. Tunes of FTL are so good, they're still got you joining it after so many hours. There he is, everybody. Scottish Pingu, the creator of the of a new ship pack that we'll be playing later. I was I was trying to keep it a big secret. We're gonna have the return of Scottish Pingu ship for the final run today. You missed Storybook Brawl, F Crypto. Yeah, I know, right? Storybook Brawl is a lot of fun. Alright, I don't need double hull repair drones. I don't think I see any value of keeping two of those. Yeah, when I heard that Storybrook Brawl died because of being bought out by a crypto company, I was like, sounds like a weird troll message. But no, it was true. <laughs> NFTs and being bought out by whatever. Holy flack. Okay. All right. Yes, I would like to use that instead of a whole beam. Thank you for asking. Now, this is insanely good with stealth weapons, too, because we're pre-ignited. We're going to fire fast. We can cloak without worrying about losing cloak timing. Lad unlock Zoltan Cruiser Type F. <laughs> Monster Train better than Slay in your opinion? I agree with that, but I wouldn't fault anyone for loving either or better because they're both amazing games. <laughs> I just like Monster Train better because it has more different builds. But I never got into modded Slay the Spire, which I feel like I should get into that at some point. Um, time for Reddit engines. Yeah, it's about time for that, isn't it? Anti-drone. Okay, 
Okay, that was a lot of dodges. Well, we can at least mind control you. I need to be a little careful with drone parts, I feel like. Yeah, that's a great setup. Could not ask for better. Except maybe a burst laser 2 instead of a dual laser, but even that would be just one extra shot in this amazing volley. Uh, can you ask where Reddit engines come from? From Reddit. From people on the FTL Reddit saying, why can't I win with this build? And they'll have like two shields, six weapon power, and eight engine power or something. I believe that's where the meme started. From people asking on Reddit why they couldn't win with certain builds. Other people might know better, though, because I don't hang out on the FTL Reddit as much as other folks here probably do. You didn't know there were mods for Spire. You might check it out. Yeah, um, there's a streamer. Oh, I forget his name. He's a smaller streamer like me. Well, I think he's actually smaller than my stream, who uh, was, was playing a lot of Slay the Spire at one point. And he was playing a lot of Slay the Spire. Okay, I better hack weapons. If I do, I do a glade beam on this, I will be not happy. Perfect, we're good. Uh, you're kind of disappointed early game FTL tried so hard, but now we're in pretty much best possible position for the boss. You're, and you're disappointed about that, okay. <laughs> uh, I think you'd be happy that your ship is performing so well. Where's the spicy content? Don't worry. That's hard on no pause day. We don't need that on viewership day. You want your ship to be spicy. Alright, um, so I want... Power. I want to be able to have my defense 3 and my anti-drone at the same time and have enough power. Backup battery, those guys. Okay, that works. Okay. So, we almost have the reddit engines. Monster Train, your opinion felt like you could just find X Wincon and all in it. It feels like a vast oversimplification for how random Monster Train runs are. And also, are you saying that's good or bad? Because I like the fact that you can find a build and go all in on it. To me, what I didn't like about Slay the Spire is. At least in my experience, it felt like there were builds that you couldn't beat the heart with consistently. And that was frustrating to me, because it felt like there were builds that no longer felt viable once you started trying to kill the heart boss consistently. But I also maybe didn't play enough when the heart boss appeared to get good enough to use those builds, I don't know. From beginners asking, why did I lose when they rock? Rocked up to fight the flagship with a rusty spoon and some fool saying upgrade your engines. Yeah. The heart is kind of cheese proof. Well, I can I don't quite know what that means. Uh, I tried to use shiv builds and I could never build the heart with a silent shiv build, and it felt like it was because. I couldn't ever get through the stacking armor thing that happened every time, which is, I guess, what you're meaning by cheese build is never-ending shivs and that kind of thing, which I thought was build were builds that they wanted you to be able to use because they were in the game. You can't randomly infinite or all in random damage without defensive cards. Okay, I guess I guess that's what you mean by cheese build. Full engine, success guaranteed. Well, we only have uh, level 2 piloting and level... Well, we didn't max out piloting our engines because we've been, you know, cloaking our way through this run. Cloak our way to victory.
you could get to the heart easily, you'd never beat it. Your last attempts were also with a shiv build, yeah. Like, I, I beat the heart a number of times, but for the silent, it always had to be poison builds with defense. Or... Which were my favorite builds, so I didn't hate it. But I, I didn't like that I felt like I was forced to do that build to win. Which, again, I probably wasn't good enough to win with the other builds, which there probably was a way to do it. Or, uh, what's the, 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 something, whatever the guy is with the orbs that float over him. A defensive build with the lightning orbs. I don't know, it's been so long since I played, I don't remember all the different build types. Right, what do I want to do here? Defect, thank you. I don't have enough for weapon value. Uh, maybe piloting value? Maybe. Okay, all right. So what is the goal? What are we hacking on the boss? I think we're hacking shields, shooting shields, relying on our cloaking and defense drone to, to keep us safe. Hack shield, shoot shields, because we basically need this fight to end as quickly as possible. Maybe I hack shield, shoot cloaking, so we didn't get a second cloak off. That might be what I need to do here. Probably should have done one volley before the hack got there. Okay, I want... I want I think I'm more concerned with their cloaking staying down. Because uh, basically we want to end this fight as quickly as possible. I probably don't get a lot of crew kills here. And actually the beam is the scariest weapon. Uh, and I think I don't get it offline in time now because my cloaking comes back up. His uh, wears off. Okay. Okay, we didn't take damage. Beam down. Okay, well, defense drone was kind of useless there. Let's see if we take any damage. Oh, the cloaking came back up. One health. One off. One off taking zero damage this phase. Okay. All right, only two damage. We have a uh, drone, uh, hull repair drone, so it should be fine. What on my thoughts? What are my thoughts about the idea about hacking the health of an enemy? Kind of turns hacking into a weaponized system. You can do some damage each hacking cycle. My thoughts are it's useless to... Unless you're planning a mod around that, I, I, it's kind of pointless. It's like saying, what are my thoughts about PvP FTL? It doesn't exist. So I don't have any thoughts about it. I, that's my only thought about it. I, I don't want to sound dismissive, but like... If it's not in the game and nobody's modding it into the game, I don't, I don't see a, I, I don't see a reason behind it. I, I, would I think it would be good if it were in the game? Using hacking to do damage? Sounds OP. That's all I got for you. Sounds OP. But also found, sounds like a trade-off, so I don't know if it'd actually be any good, so... One of your other favorite streamers, Frost Prime, super goofy streamer, has thousands of hours in Slay Spire like I do for FTL. He's got some great how to play vids for each character, a lot of knowledge like I do with FTL. That's cool. If I play uh, Slay Spire again, I'm going to have to watch some, uh, some of their stuff. Isn't hacking health on a ship just O2 hack? Uh, I would say that's different because hacking O2 is like a slow way to crew kill. And hacking the ship to do hull damage was, I think, what Unexpected is asking about. Um, would be actually killing the ship with the hack. Okay, let's do double defense drones. We hack the shields. I am going to do one shot right now. Which is looking like it did nothing. Yeah, we got no damage through with that. Oh, well, it's fine. Kill the miss. Wow, I'm so used to killing the missiles, I actually keep forgetting the beam is scarier than missiles. Beam. 
I need to focus the beam. Let's cook now. Okay, and that's missiles down. Oh, if I get some crew kills here, that would be great. Beautiful. T -t -t Triple kill. Alright, this should be a damageless phase two. Uh, beam drone and combat drone each got one damage in. Alright, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Uh, firebomb artillery is an interesting idea. You think Rand did not like the execution. Firebomb artillery. Uh, is that a ship you did or somebody else? Uh, yeah. Firebomb artillery. I mean, it's artillery, so it's unaimable. And firebomb is useless against auto scouts. So, you know, it's 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 got some obvious weaknesses. If you're going to make a weak system artillery have a weapon that does literally nothing against certain ships, auto assault ships, you're not you're not playing to the strengths of the system, I feel like. Which, I don't know what the strengths of artillery are. You don't have... I don't even know. <laughs> there aren't any strengths, right? It's just an unaimable, crappy offense. So I don't know, man. Trying to design around artillery is something I usually caution new modders against because it's hard to make it good. and People want to make it good. May have missed something in this whole conversation. You just woke up from a nap. A lot more tired than you thought. Damn it, I forgot to turn on the beam drone. The whole reason I kept the beam drone this whole, whole entire time. I forgot to swap it out. Misplay. That is a misplay. Well, we'll see if it matters here. Because our insanely fast, amazing weapons might just get through Zoltan Shield super quickly anyway. Missile fire, cloak now. Defense drone hit by a missed shot. Stupid, stupid game. It's fine. Go all in on shields. The first shot. He Honestly, this defense drone is not what's keep saving us from damage. It's cloaking hacking. As usual, it's cloaking hacking. Well, and the fact that we have insane weapons is helping a lot, too. But the reason this run is looking so good is not the Defense 2 drone, as much as I think Mr. Keats wanted to design around. GG Cookie Time! The Zoltan E! Otherwise known as the Confidence! Where they forgot something. Oh, well. Guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, it didn't matter. Shields, not even needed. The strength of Artie has given you a way to find to win fights if you find no weapon. So allowing early defense play, such as buying defense one drone control, huh? Artillery deserves a spot on the adult table, except for all the time it sucks. <laughs> Alright, let's check the score. A little over 6k there. Now thank you for the 250 bits, Contasul. Defense drone was just a little bonus. Okay. I'm glad you weren't hoping defense drone was going to actually keep us safe. What kept us safe was hacking, cloaking, Zoltan Shield. I have a feeling if Mike Copley made a tier list of important things for shieldless runs, pretty high on that list are the hacking, cloaking, and then fast offense or something would be my guess, but I don't know. All right, that was a good run, and we definitely have time to play one of um, Scottish Pingu's new ships, which I'm super excited about. I think Scottish Pingu usually like to have like sort of metallic color shift design, so I'm looking forward to it. But y'all feel free to grab a drink, grab a snack, when we come back, we'll do another run. Y'all rock. See you in a bit, my friends.